Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amber and this is a channel all about plus size fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Today we're looking at anthro, anthropology. Um, if you are not familiar with anthropology, it is a whimsical, wonderful place of joy and creativity. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that's how I feel every time I walk in. It can lean a little boho, but it definitely plays into the trends. They are not afraid of bold color, pattern, print, fabrics, shine, sparkle, all the things that are bringing joy this holiday season. So this one is surely to be a lot of fun. Um, it is a bit of a higher price point, but that is because you get a lot of detail and care and thoughtful construction. So, I'd say these are great for some of those wow pieces in your wardrobe. Um, I think you can also kind of do like rental with a lot of their product through the app called Newly. I've never tried it. If any of you guys have tried it, let me know down below. Is it worth it? Um, but I think that's a great way, especially on some of these like wow pieces that you might only want to wear once to be able to get it just for the time needed and then you know, try something new next time. So Anthro only launched Plus a few years ago. It's their A-plus collection. I don't know if any of it's in store anymore, but definitely online, and they've got a lot of great items there. Um, some of the things aren't available in all colors for Plus, so that's kind of one of the only issues I have, um, and definitely not total it's not the total website is available in plus, but definitely always find pieces I like and always find pieces I'm happy with. So a start's a start, right? <laughs> and without further ado, let's get into the haul. As a reminder, here are my measurements. I am 5'6", I wear about a size 22, and I'm straight from the front, but curvy from the side. So a curvy rectangle. So this first top is the ruffled tulle tee. I'm wearing a size 3X in the color green. It is 100% cotton and it was $69. So untucked, this hits low hip, so great length. Um, it is in this beautiful kind of jewel tone green. It has a high crew neck and then this sleeve <laughs> detail, which it seems a little crazy right now. It just came out of the packaging. I feel like it needs like some steam down on the arm. <laughs> um, it's definitely a statement type of sleeve here. I'm not sure if I'm entirely sold, but I feel like it's growing on me <laughs> as I wear it. Um, it's probably because I love the color so much. Um, but yeah, it's actually really comfortable and if I can get these sleeves to behave a little bit, I would definitely keep it and it can be worn back to jeans or a skirt. Um, yeah, I think you can play with this in your wardrobe quite a bit. And paired back, I have the Pilcro Vintage Straight Jean. I'm wearing a size 22, and it is in a medium wash, and it is a cotton span and $140. So I love the look of these. I thought I was ordering a 24, knowing that there'd probably be less stretch. And somehow I ended up with a 22. So <laughs> they got on my body, but I wouldn't say they fit. They're, they're a little bit tight. However, since they are cotton with a little bit of span, there's a good chance that they would stretch a little bit during wearing. Um, but I'd probably choose to go for a 24 first to see if that fits better. With that being said, I love the wash. I feel like it feels really authentic, except for these little chevrons here, which are unneeded. But otherwise, the wash on it itself is great. I love where it hits on the leg. The leg opening itself feels like a straight. Sometimes they can look a little bit like a skinny on my wider calf. And I love the little cut raw edge. It has functional front pockets and back pockets, and it is a high rise button and zipper fly. These are really cute, and I might just go back and see if I can get that 24 and see if it's a better fit for me. So I'm just noticing in my screen over here that red is actually 
pretty good color on me. <laughs> I tend not to go towards it because it's very vibrant and bright um, and vixen-y and I don't know why that scares me more than other bright bold colors because I'm definitely not afraid to wear color but eh, this might change my mind and maybe I'll become a little bit more of a red wearer this year. So this top here is the red ruffled tank. I'm wearing a size 3X in the color red and it's 100% poly and it's $80. So I love a lot of things about this. Um, the fabric is this satin, but it's kind of a matte satin, so not too shiny. And it's got this little pleated texture throughout the fabric. Um, it has the square neck with the elastic at the top, as well as on the sleeve with the little ruffle here. And then you do get this kind of milkmaid sort of bust. My bust is smaller than the size. This is actually kind of a little bit large in a few different places for me. Um, so instead of filling it out, I'm kind of getting this like overflow on the side here. And then there are three rows of elastic spaced at the waist. And then this short little peplum. Proportionately, not my best look. Um, I wish the peplum was longer and I don't know, maybe that's enough. I don't know, because the rest of it is really cute. Um, I don't know. I mean, the fabric's nice, soft, silky, slinky, all those things. The color, as you guys know, I'm a new fan of. I think it's really just coming down to the proportion that's a little bit tough for me um, because this little flounce hits with my long torso at a very high length. So if you're shorter in the torso or love these like more abbreviated lengths, this one would be for you because it's perfect for the holidays, especially if you're in a warmer climate. You can get the trend with the color for the holiday but not be too hot. Um, I think you could even wear like a blazer or a cardigan over it if you are in a colder climate and then still get that pop of the shine and the red coming through for the season. And then matched back, these are the Pilcro, the Icon Flare jeans. I'm wearing a size 24 in the color medium wash, and it is mostly a cotton lyocell span. Um, there's a couple other things in there, but mostly cotton lyocell and, lyocell and span. These are super comfortable. There is stretch here. The fabric is softer. And if you know anything about me, I've been on this obsessive mission for flare jeans. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually love that these are high rise. They have um, functional front pockets, functional back pockets, and then I think the flare on these are nice too. Not too oversized, um, but definitely get credit for it. This medium wash is perfect also. Really versatile, really easy, and I don't know, ultimately, I'm a fan. These might be staying in my closet. This next style is the Sweetheart Sweater. I'm wearing a size 3X in the color Citron. It is a viscose nylon and it was $98. So we're seeing so much of the corsetry happening in trend right now and I love that they incorporated it in this sweater. So you've got this kind of square sweetheart neckline and then the fabric itself is a rib, but within the rib, probably can't see on the screen too well. Um, you kind of get this like shaping under the bust and then it goes down along the princess seams. The yarn itself, or the fabric rather, is really comfortable, stretchy. It doesn't have a lot of compression, so it is a pretty easy style. And then the color is such a vibrant yellow tone. The length hits about mid hip, so pretty good. And I think this one is perfect, paired back to jeans, pants, skirts, really kind of anything to brighten up that dull winter wardrobe. Okay, I'm slightly, maybe more than slightly, <laughs> obsessed with the idea of this next one. So this is the Maeve Cable Knit Sweater Skirt Set. I'm wearing a size 3X in the color ivory. It is a cotton acrylic and it was $170. So this comes with both pieces. I love the fit of the sweater. 
It is oversized, boxy, a little cropped. It has a regular jewel neckline, long kind of puffed sleeves, and it has these really pretty cable patterns running across it. The fabric itself is like a kind of a cottony, well it is cotton, but it, you know, it has a drier hand, not too fuzzy or too warm. Uh, I mean, it'll definitely keep you warm, but it just doesn't feel super fuzzy and fleecy. And then it also has this little mini skirt. Um, she's a high rise, she has rib and elastic at the top. And then she does have a lining, um, but I'm finding that that lining kind of peeks out the bottom sometimes. And so from the front, she's short, but a cute length. But then when I turn to the side and the back, you can see that it gets all hiked up. So I'm like, oh, is it supposed to be like a higher skirt to kind of even that out? But when I do that, then she's really short in the front. So <laughs> even though I love her, I must set her free. So sad. <laughs> You guys, there are too many things that I love in this haul. <laughs> this is dangerous. Warning, anthropology is dangerous. <laughs> At least for my bank account, if not anything. <laughs> so this next one comes as a set as well. And this is the Maeve checkered blazer and short set. I'm wearing a size 24 in the color brown motif and it is 100% Lysol and $170. So the first thing that caught my eye with this set was the checkerboard detail here. So you've got this like auburn and black, I think it's black, um, kind of checkerboard vibe going on over the whole thing. It is a blazer and a short and the blazer has a long sleeve. The sleeve opening is a little bit wide, um, so just note that it might not stay pushed up if you have smaller arms. It has a shawl collar and one button closure. And then there are pockets with a flap and the blazer itself hits low hip, so it definitely like covers most of the butt. And then there is a vent in the back for ease and movement. And then the shorts, they do run a little bit small in my opinion. Um, I think 24 is the highest size that Anthro has. So a little sad that I can't size up here, but it has pockets, it's a high rise, there is a little pleat detail, belt loops, and then it has a one button and zipper fly closure. The length is short, but it's not like inappropriate by any means. And ultimately, they're just so cute. <laughs> I'm wearing it back to this one shoulder tank that I'll tell you about next, as well as these little vintage looking lug sole loafers. I love these shoes too. I got these from ASOS, so I'll link those if they still have them. But yeah, these ones are really cute. And I just love this kind of retro looking vibe in this outfit right now. So jumping back to the one shoulder top I was telling you about, this is the ruffled one shoulder top. I'm wearing a size 3X in the color black. It's 100% cotton and it was $80. So this is a cotton rib fabric, really stretchy. The length hits at low hip, so really good length here. Um, it has a woven ruffle detail that comes from the bottom hem all the way up around and then all the way back down to the hem. There is multiple rows of stitching along the little ruffle detail and the body itself is more of a fitted one. There is a ruche detail also here along the side seam, which is cute. I'm finding it a little bit big at the bust. So since it is so stretchy, I could have maybe sized down one here um, for a better fit at that bust. Otherwise I might just have to like take it to a tailor to get it adjusted or maybe just like pin it a little bit tighter up there. Um, but I think this one's super cute and it could go back to so many things like skirts, pants, um, jeans, that sort of thing. I actually have it matched back to these fun little pants. And these are the Maeve Kick Flare Pants. 
I'm wearing a size 3X in the color black motif. They are a viscose nylon span and they were $98. So I am seeing so many of these patterned pants, um, either straight leg or these kick flares or even long length flares. And they're so cute and so fun that when I saw that Anthro had one available for plus, I was like, give it to me. <laughs> so these are like a double knit kind of ponty fabric. Definitely hold you in. Um, I feel very held in right now, <laughs> specifically at the knee, which is interesting. Um, I do feel like the waistband could have either been a little bit higher of a rise or a little bit tighter of a fit because it all feels like it's kind of wanting to be pulled down um, by the knee. But the pattern on here is a little kind of floral vibe in blacks and whites. And then there is elastic in the waistband and it has this little flare at the bottom that is cropped. Um, and yeah, she's definitely a moment and I kind of love her. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see, I might keep her as that little fun fashion moment. Um, and then something else that you can wear back to these louder pants is kind of like a white button down shirt. So let me show you what that would look like. Okay, so here is another way that you can choose to wear these pants. I mean, to be honest, because they're black and white, you could literally wear it with any color. Like that yellow sweetheart neckline sweater would be really cute with it. Um, but there is something really nice about the monochrome palette of this look. So this is a puff sleeve button down shirt. I'm wearing a size 3X in the color white and it was $198. So that is pricey for a button down shirt. Um, so I'd say try to catch it on sale, but I do love the fullness in this sleeve. So much fun. And then it is an easy fit to it. Um, there is a bit of a shirt tail where it dips in the back and then just a full uh, button up with a collar. I am wearing a nude cami underneath so it is a little bit see-through but white tends to be like that in this kind of blouse fabric. Um, but yeah, I think this is actually a really great piece. You can put it underneath things like the sweater vests are really happening right now so it'd be nice to have these kind of statement sleeve popping out of a sweater vest. Um, even like the little pinafore dresses, it would be really cute underneath. So you can get a lot of wear out of this and um, it can definitely last you a long time in your closet. All right, this next look is a little party look. You ready for it? Hey! <laughs> so the skirt is the metallic mini skirt. I'm wearing a size 3X in the color pink. It's 100% PU, which is polyurethane, and it was $98. So I love the idea of this, this bold pink color in the metallic. Uh, the length on this one it isn't bad either. Even though it's a mini, it's definitely longer than some of the sweater ones that I had tried on. Where I think there could be some improvement is this fabric has zero stretch in it. Um, and it also is a little stiff. So if you see from the back, it just kind of wings out off of my butt. Like there's no, <laughs> there's nothing. It's just like, woo. So, um, you know, I think those two would help improve it a lot, but the details on this one are cute. It's got a high waist, it's got a button front, and then there are these patch pockets on the front as well. I think this is really cute and festive. Um, she had worn it back to the sweater on the website and it was cute, but I think in real life it's fine, but maybe I'll try a different top. But I actually do like this sweater in general, just maybe not paired back as much. So this is the mock neck sweater. I'm wearing a size 3X in the color purple and it is a viscose poly nylon sweater fabric and it was $98 as well. So really beautiful. I love, like the fabric on here is really nice. It's like this thick kind of dense um, intarsia sweater quality. You got this really great detail within the stitch work on here. And then it has more of a funnel neck um, that is a little bit shorter. I mean, you know, 
Nyx and I fight, so. <laughs> I ultimately don't love it, but I also don't mind it because it's not like super tight to the neck. It's a little bit um, looser on there. And then the length itself is about mid hip. You get this rib band at the cuff and the hem. It's in kind of the taupey color of the ground. And then um, the sleeve itself is really beautiful with the fullness here. So I might not wear it back to the skirt, but I think wearing it back to jeans would be great. And it's really cozy without being like, overly fuzzy and warm. So I really love that about this one. So we're gonna end this haul on a high note. This is the space dyed midi dress. I'm wearing a size 3X in the color assorted. It is a viscose poly nylon yarn and it was $150. So this is a rib sweater knit dress. I love the colors, the space size, some are solid, some are the marl. Um, I think it's so beautiful, just the kind of variety within each row. It is a midi length, it has an elbow sleeve, and then this really pretty scooped neckline. Um, it is form fitted, but there's so much stretch in here that I could have easily sized down one. And I don't know, it's just really stunning. It's easy and comfortable enough to curl up on the couch, but you can definitely put on some boots, maybe a little jacket, and wear it outside all fall and winter. All right guys, that wraps up our anthropology haul. There were some highs and there were some not so highs. I don't know if I would call them lows because I still found things in them that I liked, but they just weren't for me. Um, but either way, it was really fun to explore and you know try new stuff that I've never tried before. Let me know down below which were your favorite pieces and which ones you think I should keep or which ones you're gonna run out and get for yourself. As always, thank you for stopping by and letting me play dress up. And please comment, like, subscribe, share, and come back for more. See you next time.